Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Audig with the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Looking like it's going to be an active weekend for a lot of outdoor activities in the Mid-South area. And remember, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you need to get back indoors again to reduce the risk of getting struck by lightning. It can happen. It is a killer. So please remember, let's all be safe out there. And remember the 30-30 rule. If you'd like to know more about that, go to WREG.com slash weather for more information. For the rest of the holidays, Holiday weekend hot. Notice the forecast in the red bar at the lower section of your screen. Temperatures in the 90s again today. 70s tonight. Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out across the area. We'll talk more about that in the 7 to 10 day forecast coming up in just a little bit. A happy Independence Day holiday weekend to you. Celebrate it safely. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on severe weather. And remember all the safety sake for everything involving fireworks out there. A bucket of water and a hose nearby. Never let little kids handle things. Alcohol and fireworks never mix and remember also to never relight duds just leave them there and then soak them down and use very good amounts of caution and common sense as we go throughout the holiday weekend cough temp decks for today again we're looking at some pretty hot temperatures out there so instead of a hot cup of java all the way through the day today i'm going to lean more toward icy frothy coolness out there our tongue-in-cheek coffee temperature recommendation index as we go into again the holiday weekend pretty hot conditions out there north in at vaught hemingway stadium on the Ole Miss campus. Plenty of sunshine this morning with some clouds out there as construction work continues in and around the area there. Germantown from the Weather Underground stunned at X Airbus drivers. Back, we wish my backyard looked like that. And again, looking for some little bit of sunshine you can see poking on through the clouds and the various shrubs and grasses out across the area there. And from former Olive Branch Mayor Sam Reichard in Olive Branch, Mississippi, Mayor OB's webcam looking back toward the backyard area and showing a little bit of cloud cover drifting on through, but nothing in the way of rainfall to show up on this camera. And from City Hall in and around Olive Branch, sunrise this morning, giving a very nice illumination to the area there, just around the area just south of Highway 78 and 302 for this morning. And, okay, one more look at Airbus Drivers Webcam, ex-Airbus Drivers Webcam from Germantown. Have to replace that one in the future. As of right now, looking at quiet conditions out there, where it comes to wildfires, we have nothing to report in the way of burn bans, and fire danger is low at this point in time. So definitely good news on that. We'll keep our eyes on that potential. With all the rainfall we've had over the last several weeks, we do not have too much to worry about in the way of wildfires. But if anything does start getting more dangerous, we'll definitely let you know about that. And for earthquakes, we have nothing to report within the last 24 hours in and around the Mid-South, courtesy of the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Almanac, hot yesterday with high temperatures just above normal in the mid-90s, not quite close to the record highs, and our record high for today, 102, last setback in 1954, record low, which would be nice, but not possible, mid to upper 50s, last setback in 1924. No rainfall yesterday, so it was a dry start to July. We're already behind by over a tenth of an inch and still ahead for the year thanks to that gargantuan amount of rainfall we picked up earlier this year still ahead by almost eight and a quarter inches but it was a very dry month of June about two and a half inches in the hole where it comes to anything involving the rainfall there about maybe it looks like this is the wrong information sorry about that that should be about five percent of full for a waning crescent and sun or moonrise to tomorrow will be at 4.16 a.m. That should be for today. Sunrise today at 5.50. Sunset tonight at 8.18. 14 minutes and about 28, 14 hours, 28 minutes or so of sunlight for today. Kids heading out to man the lemonade stand. It's going to be very steamy out there with temperatures approaching the lower 90s. Heat index numbers by early this afternoon will be around the triple digits. So if the kids are going to be doing anything outdoors, hopefully they'll be able to find a pretty good place to go to when it involves something involving the lemonade stand or outdoor activities, put them in the shade, get them a good amount of breeze across the mid-south that will help them again to stay cool out there. And also looking again for the possibility of seeing showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the day today, especially this afternoon and into this evening, but not a weekend washout. It does not look to be huge amounts out there, but it will be hot. Temperatures in the mid-90s in some locations as the sunshine breaks its way through the clouds. News Channel 3 at 10, leftover showers still possible in parts of the area, upper 70s to mid-80s, and by News Channel 3 daybreak, 
break into tomorrow morning. Lows will only drop into the mid to upper 70s for the metro and parts of the southwest viewing area. Warming up rapidly on Sunday. Temperatures approaching the lower to mid 90s by lunchtime. Plenty of sunshine mixed in with clouds. And then by afternoon and evening, also some more showers and thunderstorms. But it's going to be late during the afternoon and evening that we see the potential of stronger weather. Look at the top portion of your screen and you'll see some fairly large amounts of thunderstorms there. That could be a potential of severe weather out across the area. Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms today, especially this afternoon and this evening. Hotter tomorrow, the exact same forecast all the way on through. And for Independence Day, a 50% coverage chance of showers and thunderstorms. So definitely want to see again the potential for making certain you stay safe out there as we keep an eye on the potential for uh, heavy weather coming on through the area early on Monday. Stay tuned to News Channel 3. And then also for the rest of the week, temperatures on the increase, mid to high 90s, heading to around the area by Thursday into Friday, and pretty hot into next weekend as well. Temperatures going back into the high 90s, even close to the triple digits, but haven't quite hit that area just yet and hopefully won't. Bit of a break for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. Severe weather, again, possibility of seeing a marginal threat in the green shaded area at the top of the screen there. By the time we hit Sunday late evening past News Channel 3 at 10 into Monday morning, the main threat of severe weather is going to be well to our north across portions of Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, and Missouri. Again, we'll be watching to see if anything happens, so stay tuned to News Channel 3. Forecast for the actual 4th of July, showers and thunderstorms possible. And unfortunately, some of those could linger right on into around fireworks time around and after sunset. So please keep that in mind and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Think it's hot here? Well, take a look at what's going on in Iraq right now. Temperatures well into the triple digits. Tons of sunshine from Baghdad all the way down to the Persian Gulf around Basra. The rest of the Persian Gulf is seeing hot conditions out there again as well as typical for this time of the year. 113 at reporting time at Kuwait at the International Airport and triple digit temperatures from Qatar and Bahrain back into Saudi Arabia. Not much of any better, in least into around parts of Afghanistan, 94 in Faizabad, 89, a bit cooler, not by much in Kabul, and back into the southwestern part of the country. Temperatures again back in the lower triple digits. A little bit better on the Korean Peninsula, back in the mid-70s with some rain around Pusan, but otherwise mostly cloudy skies on the south end of the Korean Peninsula. And look like more again for the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms causing rain. Rainbows, we'd like to think so. And thanking Kelvin Gates for sending in this double rainbow from Hacks Cross and Winchester. Savcap123, a cotton candy sky from earlier this week. Thank you very much for that. And Deborah J54, gorgeous sunrise from Friday around the Humboldt area. So thanks, everybody, for pitching in on those. Got anything you'd like to tweet, send them along to Aonic underscore WREG3. Don't forget about my forecast coming up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcasters Network throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll keep you updated on the chance of showers and thunderstorms there. And, of course, don't forget to tune into News Channel 3 on air. We'll keep you updated at 5, 6, and 10 tonight. And, of course, daybreak coming up tomorrow morning for more detailed information on what's going on with the forecast across much of the rest of the Mid-South. Again, please use caution out there for anything going on for the 4th of July this weekend, whether it's fireworks or driving or staying outdoors, working or exercising. You're going to need to take it easy with all that heat and humidity across much of the Mid-South. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me. More information available at wrhe.com slash weather. And stay tuned for our latest forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 on air at 5, 6, and 10.